right now ecg machine ecg machine work on the principles of the galvanometer ecg machine works on the principles of galvanometer what i will do for simplicity of the concept i will remove one piece of myocardium from here i will remove a piece of myocardium from ventricle and put that piece of myocardium here and apply the galvanometer machine on that and we will see that electrical activity in that piece of myocardium how it lead to the fluctuations in the needle of galvanometer let's suppose that yes let's suppose this is that piece of myocardium of course this one piece of myocardium must have lot of myocardial cell is that right it must have yes please lot of myocardial cells so i'm just showing few of the myocardial cell and again you must remember all the myocardial cells are connected with each other through electrical windows which are called gap junctions is that right now what we do that here i put the galvanometer machine right galvanometer machine this is a very small instrument and this instrument electrical instrument has one positive electrode and one negative electrode right and the function of this galvanometer is to detect the electrical activity in any object where it has applied its electrode you know galvanometer is very commonly with the people who deal with the electrical wires and they bring this meter with two electrode and they apply these electrode on different ends of the wires to check their wire is dead or electrical wire is having current or live now the same thing what we are doing what we are doing that from this piece of myocardium ventricle we removed a piece of myocardium we put this piece of myocardium there and we bring this a small galvanometer and apply its electrode there is it right now when there is no electrical activity in this piece of myocardium when there is no electrical activity there the needle of this galvanometer remains at neutral position or needle or pointer remain at zero position if it is right now what really happens that first of all imagine that this is a piece of myocardium which is not stimulated if it is not stimulated it means this is displaying resting membrane potential all the cells are displaying resting membrane potentials it means all the cells are electrically negative from within is that right so every cell is electrically yes please they are electrically negative is that right now let's make a study when all the cells are electrically negative let's suppose this is this end of the piece is a point and this end is b point now a side has negative electrode b side has positive electrode and both electrodes are trying to sense is there any electrical activity into this myocardium or not because myocardium is not stimulated and all of its charges all the cells are on the resting membrane potential all cells are electrically negative right from a point up to the b point do you think electrical charges or electrical forces move when all the tissue is electrically negative remember the electric electrical charges move between the negative and positive ends is that right now when all the tissue is electronegative or resting right there is no movement of electrical charges if there is no movement of electrical charges there is no depolarization there is no repolarization no electrical activity right so both of these electrode will report that there is no electrical activity do you think needle will fluctuate or remain at neutral position remain at neutral position so we say that galvanometer needle under these circumstances will remain like yeah at zero position clear now we repeat the interesting experiment what we do again this is the same piece of myocardium this is a point and here it is b point again here we have applied negative electrode and here we have applied yes please positive electrode but this time 
we stimulate this, we give some electrical stimulation to A point, right? We stimulate electrically this piece of myocardium on A side. Of course, if there is appropriate stimulation, you understand what will happen. The resting membrane potential will go towards threshold. And as soon as in this cell, the cells which are on the A side, when they are appropriately stimulated, resting membrane potential goes up to threshold. What will happen there? Suddenly, lot of voltage gated sodium channels will open. What will happen? With the appropriate stimulation, cell will be stimulated and lot of voltage, voltage gated sodium channels will open. A lot of voltage gated sodium channels will open. Then in these cells, there will be sodium influx. Lot of sodium will start moving from extracellular fluid to the intracellular fluid and cells will turn up into electropositive because during depolarization when sodium will go in, cell will lose its negative polarity and we say cells will become depolarized. So when cells become depolarized, they become electrically positive or negative? Yes, please. They become electrically positive. Now, we can say, now these first group of cells, when they are stimulated, they undergo depolarization. Through the gap junctions, they will stimulate the next group of cells. Am I right? Then second group of cells will become electro positive. Then second group of cells will stimulate the third group of cells through the gap junctions and third group of cells will become electro positive. So what happened really? By stimulating at this point, right, these cells at this point underwent depolarization and then wave of depolarization start moving in the myocardial cell. And this wave of depolarization is moving like this. Is that right? Now, when wave of depolarization is moving from point A to the point B within the myocardial cells. So naturally, when we say that wave of depolarization is moving, it means that basically cationic, cation influx is going on. So positive charges are moving. Wave of depolarization moving mean which charges are moving? Positive charges are moving because membranes are becoming electropositive progressively. Is that right? Right. So what we can do that when this uh, a lot of positive charges are moving in the piece of myocardium, electromagnetic force is produced. What is produced? Electromagnetic force is produced. And you must be knowing that every force can be represented by a vector. Every force can be represented by a vector. So when this muscle is stimulated and it undergoes depolarization due to sodium in flux and this depolarizing current is a wave of sodium ions and this electropositivity wave is moving within this, this electropositive wave or